the third video in a photography series that I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm testing the feasibility of uh, using LEDs uh, for a flash gun or as a photo flash. And basically, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, testing the brightness of an LED versus the amount of current that is put through it. <clears throat> so, if I can quickly explain what I have here, I have a 6 volt lead acid that is connected to a boost converter. On the boost converter you can see the voltage out. I also have a multimeter here that also is displaying the voltage out. Uh, from the voltage out I have a, um, a low uh, ESR uh, photo flash capacitor and uh, that's actually where the leads for the uh, multimeter are at. They're on the capacitor and the reason being is uh, I don't know if the boost converter can keep up with the amount of current that's going to be drawn uh, in quick durations and um, this will basically uh, help to smooth that out. So <clears throat> from the hot, from the capacitor, I'm going to an LED and the LED is aimed at a uh, photodiode and that is also being run by a different uh, 6 volt battery over, over this way, lead acid. And the reason I'm not using my bench supply is because I'm uh, I have my scope hooked up to it, and I don't want there to be any grounding issues between uh, um, the bench supply and the scope. Uh, through the LED, uh, I have a shunt resistor here that I made that I have calculated to be 0.5137 ohms, and this is what I'm going to be using to uh, check the current pulse. So we're going to be uh, figuring out how much current is pulsed through the LED. So this leads to the um, the drain on a uh, MOSFET. <clears throat> it's an IRF740. It has um, approximately a half of an ohm uh, on resistance. And the MOSFET is being driven by a controller that I made. It's basically designed to um, trigger the MOSFET at uh, a very short duration. And the duration is shown on the uh, LCD screen. So, so uh, okay, first test, uh, 3.78 volts. So let's give that another shot and see what happens. Okay, that's better. I think we can do that. Okay, next test. Uh, 4.56 volts. Five point eight two. Uh, this might be a buck converter. <laughs> In any case, we'll go ahead and run the test at uh, 5.82 volts. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to shut the video off. Apparently this was a a buck converter and that's actually gonna screw a lot of things up here. Okay, I'm back. I have um, added a second battery. I don't believe I've disturbed this cable. I was uh, very gentle with adding that in there so we should at least be able to get up to about uh, 12 between 12 and 13 volts on this thing now and um, that may uh, that may actually I don't have any more batteries that are easily accessible that may actually conclude uh, this experiment but uh, we are going to continue as you can see I've raised the voltage it's now uh, 6.77 so we will run the 10 microsecond pulse again Now we will raise the voltage. I'm going to go ahead and go up to 8. And we will run this again. Interesting. Nine point seven six, and we will run the test again. Okay, 